Are you concerned about all this corruption being misgendered as conspiracies? Well, don't you worry. Sit back, relax, and join in the conversation as we talk with today's guest. Welcome to another LSB Film Productions podcast with your host, Chris Brooks. Hello and welcome to the channel. It's me, Chris Brooks. Today I'm joined with Michael Furlong. Now, Michael Furlong has had such a time of it. He's been busy writing affidavits. He's been assaulted by police. He's been to court. The story is so vast that I couldn't actually summarise it in this. So, much respect. Thank you for coming on the show. Welcome to the show, Michael. Thank you very much, Chris. And uh, thanks, thanks for the invitation. My pleasure, my absolute pl- pleasure. So, where did this all begin then? Well, um, the 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 whole thing started, Chris, uh, back in twenty twenty, um, August twenty twenty. Um, I was I was I was offered a unilateral offer um, in my contract with a with a car manufacturer, Jaguar Land Rover, um, to wear a face mask. Yeah, I did I did wear the face mask, and um, in August it was very hot. Mm. I had a I had a, a, a dizzy spell which caused me some anxiety and led to me doing some research. Um, then then I found out there was no risk assessment and it was not PPE, but they they were still insisting I had to wear this mask. So um, you know I, I documented it and, and started to correspond with them and conditionally accepted the offer, provided they give me um, you know reassurance that it was covered by indemnity, insur- indemnity insurance, mm. and it wasn't. So uh, it just it just went from there. But uh, every every document I've sent has been uh, has been totally ignored. So uh, I I um I went down to Houston on a tier three lockdown. Um, and found a notary. A lot of the notaries have been threatened, so it was difficult to find one. So I found and just one. To explain, just to explain to some of us what a notary is. Yeah, uh, a notary. A notary is a uh, is somebody is, is somebody who, um he can uh, certify certify your documents into the right, legal okay. system. So it's it's like it's like a, a very credible witness if you like. Right. Okay. I'm with it. Yeah. So, uh, so I went down to Houston, um, notarized an affidavit. After going through a process of conditional acceptance, um, notice notice of fault and opportunity to cure, notice of default, and then it's notice of secure, security instrument. And I notarized all that into an affidavit, and then sent the affidavit with another thirty days to rebut. Um, they they just didn't want to know. Um, you know, pertinent questions pertaining to potentially. Aiding and abetting genocide. Mm. Um, so I perfected a, a lien over ninety days, and then um, with, then with them not responding, then then I um, I applied for a tribunal. Now pursuant to law or, or what what I've, what I've read up on, uh, an unrebutted affidavit stands as truth in commerce. Now, mm. when it's unrebutted, there is no dispute, so it's so it's just a case closed. Mm. You know, he in law, he who doesn't deny admits. Yeah. So uh, the judge said she didn't deal with affidavits, which was strange. And uh, as we all know, uh, in Palsby's law, um, administrative of courts are odious at law. So, uh, I mean, it's, it is big fraud. And I've just been trying to track it through every facet, you know, and it seems to it seems to have stopped in the judici- judiciary. Yeah. But as I say, I, I haven't made any moves. I haven't put a, I haven't put a judicial complaint in. Um, and I haven't pursued any claim against the judge, but with the where there's with there being fraud involved, there's no um, statute of limitations on fraud. So I've got a stack of paperwork, and I'm, I'm just I just don't know what 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 way to to continue the um, you know tracking the fraud. Mm, no. But as I, as I say, I uh, I requested the judge's out of office from from the judge's boss several times in in recorded delivery mail, and I was reassured I would I would be given the out of office, and it, it was never forthcoming. And this all stemmed from mask wearing a mask. This all stemmed from mask, yeah. Blimey, it's terrible. So how that video that I saw because I saw this video long before we started to communicate, um, where the police entered your house. Yeah, well, that's that's a separate case. That I was. Um, okay. Yeah, it's a, that's a separate case, but it's 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 you know it's very relevant to uh, pursuing to uh, the mask thing. I um, you know, I was never, I was never really religious, shall we say. And, and the, the more I went into law, the more, the more I, uh, you know, sided with religion. And um, there's, uh, you know, the laws, the, our law, our law, Christian law, every Christian nation, and and it's, um, you know, the laws are beautiful when you when you learn them. So uh, it led me to um, 
to, to discovering that um the the birth certificate fraud, you know, let me mm-hmm. not I pray you, job 32 20, 22. Uh, let me not say pray you accept another man's person. Now, you're holding a title, actually holding a title. So when we're born, we're actually born, born, born on the land. And our, our mothers and fathers have been deceived, which in contract law, if there's no full disclosure, the contract, that, that contract void anyway. Yeah. And, a, and no one could contract with a minor. Uh, so they've incorporated us. Now, your given name is, your given name would be Chris, man, would be Michael Henry, yeah? So what they've done is they've then took your bloodline name, your lineage, and they've they've put that in all caps, which is called Dog Latin Glossy, which is a foreign language, yeah. So they've incorporated us then and, and made us into a state owned enterprise. So the best slaves are the ones that don't know the slaves, Chris. So, right, okay. so, so we, really we go, really I should have introduced you as Michael uh, Henry. Uh, yeah, well, of, well, well yeah. I mean, if you want to be meticulous about it, and, and it's getting it's getting pretty serious now. So if you're ever in a courtroom, I'd I'd, I'd state I'd state full colon, Chris. Mm. Have you yeah. done the whole um, birth name change? Well, I've just all I've done is um, invoked Article Four of the Sesta KV, sent it in an, uh, a separation of faith and fact to uh, several international courts and several people in the But you never get you never get a, re- a response, but. You, you just stipulate that um, no response will be will be um, tacit tass, agreement by omission. Oh, okay, because no, I've they're... I've registered my name as a company, a dormant yeah. company. Um, so now I've it's, it's not the same as trademarking it, but I've just registered it. So now, however you see my name on like your driver's license or something, that's now a limited company, yeah. dormant. Well, um, the next step, which I haven't done yet, is to change your name to Depot. So my middle name would be part of my first name so it becomes a christian name one long christian name and then that's supposed to kind of overwrite the birth certificate because that's the only bit of paper you get where you have proof of identification on a legal document signed by the king's court well what what i actually done chris was um i've uh, the birth certificate itself is a security bond yeah mm. so i've i've um with me giving power of attorney to a foreign private trust I've moved all of my securities, driver's license, everything to the trust now take care of that. So I'm I'm I can't contact with these dead entities. You know, these these oh, agents okay. with four numbers. Mm. These uh, you know, they're they're beneath me, they're beneath me. I can't I can't do commerce with them anymore. They, they if they want to do commerce with my fiction, they've got to speak to the trust, another fiction. Mm. I only I will only deal with a I'll only deal with men now with a, with, a, with, a, with a shake of the hand and it will be a Freemasonic one. Is that a difficult process to put all your thing assets into a? It's a, it's it a takes trust. a bit of it takes a bit of time and it, and you you never stop learning because this is this is a knowledge that's been hidden from us, you know. So we, we we've got a lot, a lot of catching up to do. But the only way you learn because it's says to be living it and doing it, you yeah, know. This is it. I mean, I do. I don't know if it's the undiagnosed ADHD in me, but I just really struggle to retain information. You would think with the amount of people that I've spoken to on my podcast over the last couple of years, I would be like a walking encyclopedia of all things. But it's just so difficult for me to comprehend so much of this, you know. It's, a lot of it's jargon as well, isn't it? You know, it's, yeah, yeah. it's, it's learning the legalese and it's, and it's knowing all that. And it's, it's quite daunting, I find. But that's just me. But no, so it, what, what is the process of doing that then? How do you go about... Because I'm sure well, there's well, lots of people well, that want to. Well, well, I'm, well, I'm, I'm, you know, a trust, a trust can only be uh, brought about by being expressed, you know, into life. You know, only a man can create a trust. Yeah. So, 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 by the fact that you're expressing that, you, you can create a trust, but you do not register that trust. Anything that you register is, is not worth it. Now, you, you register, you're giving it to the crown, so, so they're gonna take twenty percent. Mm. So, so you just convey it in, into the private trust. And keep it in a private. Obviously, you're gonna need trustees that you that you do trust. Okay. Yeah, but uh, you know, you know, I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm, we're all pathfinding at the minute. But uh, I think, uh, you know, they, they were desperate for me to, to take the name, and it, it takes me back to. Um, did you ever you watch that watch that program? Because years ago, I think it was the seventies and eighties called Roots. It was about about slavery, and they had a black they had a black guy, um, and he and he was saying. He was saying to him, what, what's your name? And he said, Kunta Kinte. And he whipped oh. him. He whipped him. And he said, your name's Toby. What's your name? And he said, Kunta Kinte. So they kept whipping him until he took the name Toby. When he took the name Toby, in law, he who creates owns. So then 
he's using their name, so then they they own him. You, you get me? That's that's yeah. what they that's what they tried to do to me. And um, they said to to get fed and to get fed and use phone calls and all that. They said they needed me biometrics. I said, well, I can't give you my biometrics under that name. I said, that name doesn't belong to me. I said, they can't contract for that name. You need to speak to the power of attorney. So they kept me in there for 15 days, 23-hour 23, 23 lockup, kidnap, kidnapping, basically. And it browbeat me to take the name, but I'll never take that name now. I'll never take the name. And thanks for the opportunity to get this out to people that, uh, you know, if, if I'm going to have to be a martyr, so be it. But I'd rather, die, I'd rather live on my feet than die on my knees. Yeah, for the name, for the yeah, name yeah. that, for the name that belongs to 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 a crown corporation who's been in treason since seventy three, is the, the Vatican own the surname? The Vatican, the Vatican owns the surname. Yeah. yeah, it's the it's the papal bull. They they, they, they create three trusts. Um, there's there's very good docu documentaries on on um, Justinian deception about this because I don't know whether you're aware of Justinian deception. It's a no, Aust an, Aust it's an Australian guy called Romney Stewart, and he really, really opened my eyes, and he breaks it down. I think the first one I watched was called Hierarchy, and he, he breaks it down for you on a whiteboard, and it's uh, you know it doesn't have to open your eyes, and it's all it's all uh, you know it's, it's witchcraft, the the the, the, the spelling, and uh, no no the, no the way they bastardise language. Mm. It's it's uh, it's like dark. Bless it's dark. is be less. It's it's dark art, yeah. It's dark art. <coughs> yeah, it's oh, crafty little bastards, aren't they? Yeah. It's, it's... They're incredibly clever, but it's just well, I, I it's hard to it, comprehend that amount of evilness. Yeah, oh yeah, it's 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 very dark, very dark. But um, I think they, they, they never intended us to figure this out. And um, I think Romney Stewart's done a lot of work towards that. And uh, you know, what, what a guy! And he's he's had a hard time off them. He's been you know he's had the shit kicked out of him several times by the Australian mm. police. But uh, the cat's out of the bag now. We just need a lot of people, more people to wake up and, and, and obviously do these power of attorneys and stuff like that. Um, yeah, you, you know, it, and, it, and it, it does work. There's a lot of power in it when you stand in your power. They can't, they can't force you. No one can be forced into, into slavery. And anyone who's anyone who's on the books of the crown is aiding the betting crimes against humanity and treason as secondary offenders. So so even, it, the taxpayer now is the enemy because the taxpayer yeah. is directly, directly in breach of the Terrorism Act 2000. So have you? Have, I think you've stopped paying your council tax. Well, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. I don't, the only tax I can't dodge this is when I have a pint, you know. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that sucks, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, it does suck. No. So but, uh, what, what, as I say, what one who seeks equity has got to come with clean hands. So mm. if I'm running around funding terrorist organisations, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get equity. And and you know, according to the Bible, when when uh, when 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 the when the rapture comes. He's going to judge the people in equity. So if you're funding terrorism, nothing's half for you, you know? Well, but I'm fairly sure, and I'm not by any means a, a Bible novice, because I just, I've got one, but I don't, I couldn't tell you what they are. But um, I'm sure there is a bit in there where it says, Jesus says, do not pay tax. Do not pay taxes. Do not pay a government. Yeah, well, I can believe that, yeah, because he was, uh, you know, he was against the uh, the lawyers and the, and the moneylenders, wasn't he? Mm. It's usually, 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 in the Bible's unlawful, and that's that's, you know, that's the crux of it. Now it's, um, you know, they've deceived everyone to be subject to. No, no, a sovereign in law, a sovereign cannot be subject. So if you if you're down as a crown agent, you are subject to the crown. So you're not. So you've you've surrendered your sovereignty. But the way these have done it. They haven't, they haven't wrote it down and said, do you want to, do you want to, do you want to lose twenty percent of your earnings, you know, by being a subject and, and yeah. surrendering your rights? They haven't, they haven't been that clear about it, so they've deceived you. But yeah. that's 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 the nature of the beast, isn't it? Deception. Yeah. So so the contract, any any contract is void. You know, these might say, oh yeah, you didn't you didn't uh, execute Article Four of the Cesta KB before the age of seven. Well, I didn't know my mum and dad had been deceived. Mm. You know, and, and now I've come of age. I want to revoke that contract, and my mother's gladly give me the blessing to, to to take power of attorney back off over that. But it, but the fact of the matter is, fraud was committed. I uh, think at, at the start, so it's 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 um, you know it's null and void, non pro tunk ab initio. It's gone. Mm. It's you know if fraud unravels everything. How how long did it, how long did it take you to learn to write affidavits? Do you know what? I kind of uh, I knew I knew the situation was uh, you know I knew it was tantamount to genocide. Um, I, I studied a lot. Uh, the PCR test was not fit for purpose. The man who invented that was was killed in suspicious circumstances. Um, so I knew and I, and I was 
I was on the internet trying to find out a, 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 a gentleman there, a gentleman from um, Glastonbury, uh, kind of reached out to me and helped me a little bit. Um, and then from there, I kind of come into my own a little bit. It, it, like the, the earlier affidavits was like, it's kind of structured off other people's work. And the third one was all me. And, and it, you can see where I'm flowing and I'm putting maxims in and putting a bit of front. As, as each paragraph, I'm putting the, the crimes that have been committed and then maxims in. And it documented it quite well. Uh, I also found out I was allowed to record for domestic use uh, with Section 36 exemptions to the Data Protection Act. So I, I snagged a couple of them, you know, absolutely committing fraud. And then um, a solicitor then omitted omitted evidence, enemy commercial intimate, which is a breach of uh, canon law. Mm. Uh, the alteration of a commercial instrument without the without the consent of the original author immediately renders that party liable. And this was a third party interloper who had no first hand knowledge or standing in the matter and was not named on the affidavits. So and then the judge ignored that as well. I mean it's it's it is lawfare this. But uh, just stand in your power and don't take that name. Um, you know, we'll get judged by the big fella. But don't take that name and don't pay tax. No, See, everyone's going around writing and all this. I mean, there's a lot, there's a lot of school really going on. People, people sending um, agent provocateurs to the streets to cause me. They suddenly want to bring in martial law. But the bottom line is, if everybody stopped funding terrorism today, this would stop tomorrow. Because you can't bribe a judge if you've got no money. That's the bottom line. Mm. No, no. It, yeah, that's very true. That's a good way of putting it, actually. Yeah. Definitely. But I just wish more people would wake up. It's, just, you know, we need so many people to get on board this because, a few, you know, it's good that people are waking up and it's good when you do get pockets of people not paying, but you need, we need such a, a vast amount more of I people. Think, um, I think Keir Stam is going to help us wake a load of people. <laughs> yeah, I think you might be right. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's true, yeah. Oh, what a plonker he is. Yeah, he was a bad man, yeah. He's a, he's actually a Fabian Society. Yeah, I think he's he's definitely Fabian Society. Um, there's a few there's a few secret societies in and then a bad news, really bad news, satanic. Mm. But uh, you're going to see, you're going to start to see more and more of this because, you know, they can't stop now. And it, all the evidence is already there and the more they go, the, the, the more the more people see. You know, it's... It is, it's, it is genocide, global genocide now, and it's, um, it's the Zionists, you know, and uh, everyone say, oh, you're anti-Semitic, you're anti-Semitic. There's a gentleman who, 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 who worked in a, he's, he's a professor, I believe, and he, and he got took to court um, for, for, for going for anti-Semitism, but he was, he, he proved his case. He said, no, I'm anti-Zionist. He said, that's a political ideology. It's a different kettle of fish to you know, anti-Semitism, and he mm. won the case. So that's case law now. So there's there's a there's a case law definition now that anti that anti-Zionism is not anti-Semitic, and I don't see what it's got to do with the Arabs anyway. You know, no. it's just another way of dividing the world, isn't it? Really? Yeah, it's the biggest the uh, it's the biggest the uh, protection racket since uh, you know since killing your granny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, is. Oh dear, I don't know how YouTube friendly we're gonna be. Uh, yeah. Oh, I tell you what, YouTube is becoming such a nightmare for putting things up. Yeah. Maybe what? 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 I mean, what's the? Uh, what? What are you getting a hard time for? Any? Any? I've just gone over. Um. Yeah, I mean, you know, you know, uh, you know, you know who's you know who's in charge when you when you know you can't criticize. You know, and it's becoming more and more obvious by the day you now. And so not, that you can't and criticize. Not, that they're yeah, in charge. The, yeah, they're not a religion and they're not a race. They're a cult. Satanic, mm. a satanic cult, mm. and it's got to be, it's got to be said. And you know what? I've got to, uh, I've got to take me out off to uh, the lady of UK column. She's, she started addressing the, uh, the elephants in the room. You know, and it's, oh, uh, it's about time. Yeah, she has. Yeah, yeah. What, what's, what's the lady's name? She's, she's always, she's always uh, getting rid of the old out of Damascus. Vanessa Bealy. She's, uh, she's done a very good, very, very good one about the Zionists on uh, UK column. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know, it's the elephants in the room, and it's, it's got to be. It's got to be spoke about, and uh, you know, Chiaro was one. It's gone off. It's gone off for millennia. He he wasn't a very nice bloke, was he at all? No, Chiaro. he done he's done Dresden, didn't he? He done Dresden, all the men were in the fields, and he killed all the innocent women and children in Dresden. He was a bad man, a bad oh, yeah. man. 
and he was probably he was probably compromised, like like the Orlando. And he knew all about the um, uh, the, the beach, you know. What do they call it? The oh, where they went over on the beach. Oh, Normandy. Uh, Normandy. That's it. He knew all about that. That was all set up and staged, so they could use yeah. that as an excuse. Well, but I, I believe here, Hitler begged him. Hitler begged him not to go to war. Was it? Hitler just wanted to get rid of the bankers, and he turned mm. the economy around. Hitler. It, you know, there's a couple of good uh, documentaries there. The uh, the greatest story never told, you know, and they whoever wins the war writes writes the history books, and yeah. everything everything we know is is, is a lie basically, yeah. uh, you know, and if you start looking at it, anything they tell you to do one eighteen, you're never the truth. It's such a weird time to be alive, isn't it? Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, but it's the greatest time to be alive though, because it, once once work gets out and the numbers, they can't, uh, you know, it's just the media. People just stop listening to the TV. I turn it off. I don't. Think, I can't remember the last time I watched TV. You know, I just yeah. go do my own things, do my own research, and I'll find my own knowledge. You know, we are the we are the media. You know, Is it, but yeah, hence they always trying to choke us. <laughs> yeah, but no, you're absolutely right. So with your journey, then what's next for you? What's what's uh, well, I, I mean, uh, I've uh, I've kind of come to the uh, the point where now money's an illusion, you know, and it actually tells you on the money it's a debt note, it's a debt instrument. So I, I I'm just keeping on studying and uh, you know trying to stay alive, basically. Mm. So how did you feel your ex- because there was also a video of you in court? Well, not in court, but you were talking to somebody after you'd been in court. What was that regarding? Oh, that was regarding the. Uh, I was uh, I was unlawfully stopped for the alleged uh, you know citation of cycling on a pavement. Now in law, if there's no victim, there's no crime. So I informed this young gentleman, uh, you know, little 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 school school kid, young lad, twenty two or something. But uh, you know, they're all they're all there uh, full of beans when they, they join the squad. But there was quite a few of them. It was a uh, you know there was a bit of an operation going on, loads of cars getting stopped. So he stopped me over and and I said. Um, he said, I'm going to give you a ticket for cycling on pavement. I said, no, you're not. He said, what? He said, what? I said, that's a statute, an act. It's only given the force of law by the consent of the government. I said, let's get one thing straight. No one governs me. And he said, right, right, that's going to ask for me to search you. I said, no, it's not. Now you didn't breach of the Pace Act. I so I wasn't acting suspicious. There was no there was no victim. There was no criminal complaint. But he was just trying to get in my pocket. He's assuming and presuming jurisdiction. Mm. But, he, but he, you know, he's, he was still wet behind the ears. He, he, he's created a big, a big problem here. For, with, with, with a little bit of small man syndrome to boot. Yeah, yeah. So then uh, they've arrested me. Uh, they went in my pocket, found a little bit of herbs in my pocket. Uh, I, he said, ah, look what I found. I said, that's inadmissible. You shouldn't have been in my pockets. I said, it's like if you wiretap, if you wiretap my phone, you, you can't do that. You need to get permission to do that. So uh, anyway, they took me to took me to jail, uh, tried to get me to contact for the name. I uh, I signed everything, non-use of fruits, um, you know, no contract, uh, UCC 1-308. They said to me, right, told them they had no jurisdiction. And then he, uh, they, they, they still pursued it. And that's when the issue that I went to court, uh, a good friend of mine, he, he, he's, he's a bit on the fence about all this. He come to court with me. I, talk, I asked him to come to court. And, and when I give him the nod to produce the paid certificate. So the, when I've gone into court, he've asked me to go in the dock. And I told him, I'm not authorised to go in the dock. Um, I've given power of attorney to a foreign private trust. So I'm no longer authorised to contract in a commercial jurisdiction. So they were a bit, they were a bit pissed off at this. The magistrate. So he said, "Right, if Mister Fillings on the court, we'll have to issue a warrant for his arrest." I said, "You do what you need to do." I said, "But he is actually in the court." And so we may produced the birth certificate in the court. The clerk came to go over to him, took it off him, and then gave it to all three magistrates. So they all, they all witnessed. They're all first hand witnesses to this. Then, needless to say, they still issued a warrant. Yeah. So then the gentleman on the video that you've seen, well, I say gentleman, he wasn't very nice. Um, he, he would not introduce himself. Now, I doubt his camera was switched on because he was actually committing fraud there. And he was, if you watch the video, he says, if you're going to keep video on this, I'll be seizing your phone as evidence. Now, it, it's kind of strange, that strange one, that, isn't it? Because if you're doing your job to the letter of the law, you know, you'd want it to be, you know, you'd be mm. proud of yourself, wouldn't you, doing your job professionally? So, failure to produce that. I see, I just needed to ask the team, with, with me be having first hand knowledge that Mr. Furlong, Myself, an independent witness, the clerk of the court and the magistrates all all knew that you know the uh, person in question was present in the court, but I'm just not authorized to be surety for that person anymore. So, so there's fraud there. So I just needed to ascertain the judge's name who issued the warrants in fraud. 
No. I knew I knew no one's gonna sign that. Because that's like a confession to the fraud, if you like. So they wanted me to come and give them joinder for that name without ascertaining whether the judge whether the um, warrant was legitimate. So they're making a claim they've got a warrant and I'm asking them, can I see the warrant? And and they don't want to show the warrant. So therefore there is no warrant. Mm. Bit of a check, mate. Yeah, yeah, but um, I don't know where the book stops. I mean, because I haven't got the names to ascertain who's... See, that, there's no way that... F- five because you need their name, don't you? Yeah, but there's no way that, that policeman's just guessed that there's a warrant out for me. Do you know what I mean? What's mm-hmm. the odds on that? So someone has told him to come and execute a warrant that they never had. So the book stops with 5891, who failed to give his name. Yeah, I've since found out his name is uh, Benedict, Benedict McCaffrey. And a uh, very, very, uh, very dark individual. So uh, I think uh, I think the book stops with him. But as I say, where there's fraud involved, there's no way immediate rush. I, I wanna, you know, I wanna try and get it right and get them, get them all. Mm. And uh, I, I, I don't know whether they're still trying to chase warrants, but no one. The uh, power of attorney on the third video. I don't know whether you've seen that one. Where they go into, uh, they go into the police station and and he, and he served them affidavits. I think I've sent you some of the documentation from. I don't think I've seen that one. Yeah, I think I've sent you some of the documentation from that case, though. But you, you'll enjoy okay. watching that. Mm. And uh, get a pen and paper when you watch that one, Chris, because he does a great job. You know, we made we, we to go into it do an excellent job. Now, and, did you uh, want me to share any of these? Uh, not necessarily, no. I mean, you, you, okay. can, uh, you, can, you can share the links, if you want, for the for the three videos yeah. on, on YouTube. Yeah. But as, you haven't seen the third one yourself, yet, have you? I don't think I've seen the third one. I'll send you the I'll send you the link for that one. Okay, I mean you may well have sent me the link. I just haven't watched the third one. Yeah. Uh, okay, but no, I'm happy to put the links in the video description, yeah. and people can click and check that out for themselves. That's brilliant, yeah, brilliant. That's no problem. No, that's really good. Well, listen, I've really enjoyed chatting with you. Um, your, I wish I had your kahunas. <laughs> I'm just, do you know what I mean? Well, it's one of them because I, I never ask for none of this. It's just, um, it, it's, and I, I say to me mates often, it's, it's, it's like it's kind of like scripted, you know, the way the time and the things, the way they've come mm. and, and the knowledge I've had in me as at the time. It, it's, it's kind of like, uh, it's kind of like, a, you know, uh, I was, it was meant to be. A so, shame. Yeah, so it's, it's like fear, just control the fear and, and just tell it how it is. But they, they don't like it, but you've got to uh, try and keep your camera fully charged all the time because they don't like it alive. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, that's it. Well, listen. I wish you all the very best for the future. Um, keep in touch. Let me know how things progress, and if if any advancements um, happen, then by all means, you're welcome back on. Yeah, excellent, Chris. Thank you very much for your time. You're more than welcome, mate. Look after yourselves. Take care. Take it easy. Yeah. Nice God bless. One. Thanks Bye-bye. everyone for watching. I hope you've all enjoyed it too. Please do like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, I will catch you all again soon. Bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.